This is the Ryder and Lisa podcast. It sounds like Reese Witherspoon is on the hunt to find a mini Elle Woods. How old does she need the character to be like a teenager? Or? Yeah, I think like 12 to 14. Reese Witherspoon Reese Witherspoon would do an open casting call. Try to say that five times Whip, fast. Whiff Witherspoon. Whiff Witherspoon. Whiff Witherspoon would. <laughs> but seriously, mm-hmm. that's great. Try to find somebody new. So Elle Woods is the main character from Legally Blonde. Or Tiger Woods' ex-wife. Um, Legally it, Blonde. It is Legally Blonde. What? Like it's hard? That movie's so good. What's Tiger Woods' ex-wife's name? It oh my sounds gosh. Like... Why are you derailing this right Well, now? I just... Oh, Elin Woods. Oh, see? okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, it uh, should be pretty interesting to see. It's too bad that Reese didn't do this eight years ago, and then she could have just cast her daughter, oh, who yeah. looks exactly like her. It's kind of scary how much they look alike. Same with... Uh... It, Reese Witherspoon's daughter looks more like Reese Witherspoon than Reese Witherspoon Same does. with Jennifer... Um, no, why are you derailing oh, this no. now? Here we go. Ben Affleck's ex. Get on. Jennifer Garner. Get on Google. Their daughter. Look, uh, uh, I just oh swallowed a fly. God. Sorry. Something flew into my throat. Jesus. Hey, I hope everybody's enjoying the show. <laughs> Costco has entered the conversation. About what? Well, P. Diddy's lawyer uh, said that the reason he had all of those bottles of baby oil, the thousand that were found between his two homes, uh, was because there was a Costco nearby. Oh, yeah, because... He, he just bought in bulk. Costco bulk is like three bottles. Yeah, or like maybe six. This lawyer needs to do his Costco research a little better. Clearly, he does not have a membership. Well, you're right. He should have done his research better because Costco has now <gasps> stepped up and said, we don't sell baby oil. Holy, <laughs> that's amazing. There's no baby oil in any of our U.S. locations. Baby oil is so dangerous. I remember my mom had it in the bathroom and I went to take a shower once. And I remember reading that like baby oil is really good for like putting on your legs when you're shaving or something. Whatever I read back in the day in some Seventeen magazine. I got a little bit on the floor of the shower. And keep Bye. in mind, it doesn't just come off. Easily. Yeah. I almost broke my neck. I could have died. Baby oil. Don't like it. No. So, uh, yeah. It, it, Costco saying that. It's not happening. That's not a thing. Don't that's use us. Lie. Don't bring us into this is pretty much what they're saying. It's so true. <laughs> it's like when artists have their songs used with politicians and they're like, yeah. I did not approve of this. 100%. And this is not a good look for me. Yeah. With the P. Diddy thing, the latest update I heard is that they found a tunnel in one of his homes, like underneath it. That is so messed up. Mm-hmm. And apparently he's not eating in jail right now. They have him on suicide watch they as well. Do. But he, I also heard he is willing to testify and he's going to bring up some big names that were involved. Dang. I mean, it's at the point now where how can he even deny it? Yeah, he's either going to be a rat and they'll go easy on him for like the length of time he has to spend in jail mm-hmm. or he doesn't rat and he rots for the rest of his life in jail. It looks like that. those are the two options. I guess we'll see. But like I said, they should have went with the, he had a really big slip and slide in the backyard excuse, like I suggested, for like, why do you have all this baby oil? You should have been his lawyer. Yeah, I would have done better than claiming it came from the Costco that doesn't carry it. Well, you know, these days people like to buy in bulk, so I was like, like a thousand (laughs) bottles of baby oil? Terrible answer. Uh, Pizza chain here in Edmonton is claiming to have the world's largest deliverable pizza. Have you heard of this unit? I feel like Miles called in and told us about this the other day. He, did he send you a picture of the pizza? I think so, yeah. He, but he tells us so much stuff. <laughs> it's one of our regular callers. Yeah, yeah. That, like, all of it I, I listen to, but I don't really, like, zone in on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So I just saw this in the news. Now it's making, like... Yeah, he called us last week about it. Yeah, we could have been on this way earlier. Uh, so Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria says it's receiving four to five orders a week for a pizza that's almost a meter and a half long and wide. You're going to have to compare that to an object for me. Uh, the biggest TV you've seen, okay. probably. Got it. Like the TVs in here are about a meter by a meter and a half. Okay. So it would it's a be a big pizza. 
<laughs> That's a huge pizza. Apparently, it feeds uh, 50 to 60 people. It can be cut into 200 slices. It weighs over 20 kilograms and will cost you between 350 and 400 bucks if you're interested. Is it cooked in the middle? Yeah, I don't know about that. Have you tried it? Oh, we got <laughs> we got Connor with the K in the studio. Let's get him on here. Sorry. Okay. I, the, we I work at the Antique Mall. Yeah. We ordered one recently for our anniversary party. We ordered two. You have to get like a team of people to carry it in. We couldn't fit it through the front door. What? <laughs> yeah, we had to like tilt it sideways and hope the sidings wouldn't slide yeah. off of it. Really? What about like yeah? Like did all the pepperoni was it all on one side by the no, time we it got were in? Really good at it. <laughs> All the Dang. cheese just barrels onto the other half. So is it cut into squares? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. And you're telling me that the center is perfectly cooked? The center is where it's at, and all the people at the party uh, were just taking crust pieces, and I don't know why. It uh. kind of drove me crazy, actually. Okay, so the center is where it's at. The center is where it's at. Are you allowed, when it, you're taking a pizza that's cut into squares, to go right for the middle? You don't First, have to go right for the middle, but after there has to one be a, person takes a crust piece, you have access to it. Yeah, you got to go with the lane, right? If there's an open lane to the second row in. What's wrong with just going into the center? You can't. Why? It's just the way it goes. You can't just be digging into the center. You get your fingers all greasy on other people's pieces. No, you, you would start use start with the crust and you work your way in. It's just a way Lisa, she the goes. Lisa, the pizza is so big. If you go right for the center, you're crawling onto the table. <laughs> You're laying on the pizza. Okay, we need to try this. Big Mamas and Papas Pizzeria is what it's called. If you want more info, hit us up. Friendship Friday. We welcome to the studio our good buddy Connor with a K, who Woo! you may recognize. He filled in for us when we were gone to Italy. Yeah. How was that? It was fantastic. I'm sure that you guys were having a better time. <laughs> I was checking social media and seeing you eating such good food and yeah. going on such interesting tours. And I read the weather. Yeah, you were up at the crack of dawn for us. Our listeners are the best, though, right? Oh, the people they that are like me. checking in yeah, on a regular were... basis. Anybody who didn't appreciate me didn't say anything. That's and so good. that's what I like. Oh, good. That's the best. <laughs> but the ones that do. Re- took time to reach out and yeah. that's so so yeah we nice. checked the text line after we got back and we were very pleased that everybody was so welcoming to you you're like our little man, <laughs> our little man. i'm just your little guy yeah uh, i just came across an interesting story i wanted to chat about uh there have you heard of the app rover before i have not have you connor no so it's a dog sitting app so okay. it's kind of like you can swipe through and find somebody that, you know, is rated properly, that is used to big dogs or small dogs or has a yard or has other dogs there. So you can kind of curate who is watching your dog and pick the right person. That's brilliant. Mm. It is really smart, right? Because mm-hmm. you wouldn't want just an absolute stranger. So it gives you the opportunity to kind of get to know them. Anyway, this uh, woman was traveling and left her dogs with the rover of her choosing. And about halfway through her vacation, which was a month long, uh, she stopped getting updates on where the dogs were, how they were doing, no more pictures. Oh, that must be a mandatory in the app. They, like, give you a week, like, sure. daily, weekly. Yeah. Picture. I mean, you would want updates would. as a dog owner. 100%. And I'm sure even, like, on your profile, you can say, we'll give daily updates with photos yeah. or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they just kind of came to an end, so she wasn't sure what was going on. By the time she got back, she got a text that said, your dogs have been dropped off at their new home. Uh, this person, this dog sitter, gave her dogs away. Why? I, I don't know. It doesn't go into too much detail on why. I would assume maybe she sold them off. Maybe they were just really hard to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> or like somebody really connected with them. You yeah, know when you have a friend over that like your dog just really likes? And you're like kind of suspicious about it. You're like, what's this? What's this relationship? Yeah. Oh, I can tell that the dog wants you more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, if the... like my dog never sits on my lap like that. So if maybe this lady saw another connection like that and just felt like the dogs needed to be with a new person, I don't know. It didn't say why. Okay, but and it, this person wasn't like a new per. They must have been like a new person on the app because you'd think the app would report this person and get them off of there. She is now banned from using the app, the one that gave the dogs away. Did the 
owner get her dog Yeah, back? she has a pretty big social media following. Her name's uh, Mackenzie Lee Comfort. She's a big TikToker. And so she was able to post and find the dogs, and they have been returned to her. You know, it's kind of disheartening to hear you have to have a big following to get your dogs back. <laughs> yeah, you think, you, <laughs> you think everybody like a, deserves like, that. You think like somebody who who did this, they have a private profile, 121 <laughs> followers. Yeah, you're just, they're just gone. Bye. Friendship Friday, our good buddy Connor is in studio with us, who is going to be a dad for the first time. A girl dad mm -hmm. at yeah. that, the best kind, <laughs> uh, in just a couple weeks. So we're asking for your parental advice. Victoria, what's going on? Um, so my first advice is all advice is unsolicited unless you specifically ask for it. And True. take it with a grain of salt no matter what advice it is. Because everyone has different advice for all of the topics. Good point. No kidding. Connor, are you and already dealing with uns unsolicited advice from people that you're like, I don't know if I trust your opinion, but thanks anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, specifically just like for my nephew is like 10 years old and he's like, no, just trust her. Anything she <laughs> says, you should listen to your kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Uh, I think the best advice I got, which just really helped with um, understanding the process and not getting overwhelmed is that the days are long, but the years are short. Uh -huh. So Interesting. there are times where it's going to feel like it's, it's, it's daunting, it's, yeah, it's too yeah. much. You're exhausted. But just remind yourself that, yeah, the days may see long, but all of a sudden, like, I've got a 12-year-old right now. Yeah, Holy. time it, flies by. It doesn't feel that long ago that I had that energy that you got right now of, like, whoa, what's to come here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, boom, I've got a teenager who swears at me. Yeah. You know? So Isn't it so sweet, though? <laughs> it yeah. is. Don't yeah. you just love her? I do kind of like when kids swear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this text says, plan to eat in shifts for the first month or two. Mom's nerf nursing while you eat. You burp and settle the baby while mom eats. We tried to do it together for the first few days. Yeah. And adding hunger to exhaustion was a terrible idea. Okay, so in shifts. with a newborn baby, yeah. you just accept you're not going to be having meals together. And also, like, a lot of people love the frozen food Options. aspect, too, of not having to actually cook anything mm -hmm. for the first eight weeks, even. And I'm sure you have so many amazing people in your world that will step up and... Plus Michelinas. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah Michelinas. There, <laughs> I love there it is. Fine dining. Uh, this text says, do not have dead silence in your home when your kid's asleep. Do your normal routine or noise level, uh, or you'll end up with a kid who is woken up by a mouse fart. Yeah, that's what I'm... <laughs> <laughs> My apartment's so small, I don't think that I would be able to right. stay quiet for the baby anyway. Okay. I'm going to be on the other side of the wall doing, like, construction projects. <laughs> yeah. Connor with a K is in for Friendship Friday. Yeah, Who is. you may know from uh, when we were away, Connor filled in for us, so thank you again for that. Hey, no problem. Happy to, happy to be here. You, uh, you're going to be a dad for the first time, a girl dad in the next couple weeks. Yeah. And some of the advice that's rolling in is awesome. Yeah. And a lot of it is just like roll. Roll with it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Every situation's different. Totally. Yours is kind of up that alley, man. Go ahead. I'm a father of four. I have a 20 year old, a 16 year old, a two year old and a five month old. Holy moly. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And, uh, I think the best advice I could give you is just wing it, man. They're all different. It's true. It's so true. Yeah. Um, I love this text. First time texter, by the way, we love to see that. Never let baby laundry pile up for a week. One hamper can hold 1,400 shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Little loads all day maybe is the answer, right? Plus that adds to the noise in the house, which a lot of people are saying you want to make sure your house is not a quiet house. Otherwise, your kid will grow up to be... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, they'll wake up so easily with sounds. You need sounds. to march around, like, banging in pots and pans a little bit so that the kid is used to it. Yeah, wear some tap shoes. Yeah, wear <laughs> tap shoes. My classic tap shoes that I have ready for any situation. <laughs> As you're sneaking out. Uh, this text says, everything's a phase. If you feel overwhelmed... That your kid isn't sleeping, phase. Yep, it's no, gonna it's gonna go away. The yeah. kid's not eating, phase. Pooping up their back, phase. Yeah. Hopefully, that is, I've had somebody tell me that exact thing, but the way they phrased it was, "Don't worry, you have a new baby every like two weeks." It's true. <laughs> this text from Lori: I wish I would have taken more time to enjoy the now and not worry so much about tomorrow. Mm. Mm. 
Interesting. Yeah, live in the moment. Thank you for these. You feel well, uh, well prepped? As prepped as a guy can be before trying to raise a new human being. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> $1,000. It's Ryder and Lisa's 1K Wordplay. Brought to you by Out of Bounds Restaurant. We are joined by Lauren, texter 107, who is ready to win $1,000. What would you spend the money on, Lauren? Ooh, good question. Uh, something frivolous, like a bunch of candy. Ooh. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, here's how the game works. You're going to choose either Lisa or myself to leave the room. They're your teammate. The other host will give you five words. He tells the first word that comes to mind for each. We'll invite your teammate back in. They'll play the same game as you did. And for every answer that matches, it's 25 bucks. If all five hit, it is a thousand. Who are you rolling with? Ooh. Mm, I'm going to go with Lisa today. Yeah, it's about all time. Right. It was been, you all week. I've been sitting on these words for quite some time, and they're good words, so good choice. I'm going to start the timer after I give you the first word, okay? All right. Let's do this. The first word is... Oh, wait. Where did it go? There it is. The first word is novel. Book. Wax. Leg. Brick. House. Cheetah. Tiger. Prison. Jail. All right. And just to confirm for wax, you said legs, right? Yeah. All right, let's get Lisa back in here and give away some money. Big money. Big money on a Friday or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. She did great. All right. Lisa, what is the first word that comes to mind when I say novel? Book. Yes. <laughs> that pays for one book those if you want to buy one. Those are really good <laughs> yes. Thank you. Prison. Jail. Boom! 50 bones. Brick. Mm. There's two words. Um. Brick. What would Lauren say? Wall. Oh. No! 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 <laughs> At house? Yes. Yeah. I'm in a bad mood now. Let's keep going though. <laughs> <laughs> Wax. Hair. What? Wax your hair. Wax. Your hair. Yeah. Hairy legs. Oh, she said legs. Ugh! That makes way more sense. I'm so mad. <laughs> I I've never felt more like weird in that moment when you're like hair. Like what's yeah, yeah. I was like, is that not the what you use wax for? Sure, I guess. And cheetah. Fast. Mm, she went with tiger. 50 bucks is all yours, Lauren. Thanks for playing, Lauren. Have a great weekend. Okay. You too. Next chance to play is Tuesday morning. Oh, true. At 7.50. Time for Unsung Heroes. Giving shout-outs to people, places, and things that don't always get the attention they deserve. We have Connor with the K in studio with us. His first time doing Unsung Heroes. We'd love to have all of the listeners rate him out of 10 on the text line after how he did with <laughs> yes. this segment. I'm going for a solid five. <laughs> all right, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Shout-out to Golden Bachelorette featuring 61-year-old jo Joan Vassos looking for love. Absolutely would. <laughs> 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 All right, Connor. Shout out. Shout out to that guy speeding a bit faster than me on the QE2. I'm glad that you could find the speed trap before I had to. <laughs> That's my favorite thing ever. Shout out to Leaves. You've changed. <laughs> shout out to 11% of people admitting to shoplifting. I shoplifted chocolate bars this morning and I didn't get caught. What? I got a few twicks up my sleeve. Oh! <laughs> wow, hate it some more. Well, it took too long to get to the twix part. <laughs> well, you didn't ask in time. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, shout out to my weird uncle at Thanksgiving. <laughs> the rest of the family really loves each other more when we don't have to like you. <laughs> 
Shout out to that one house on my daily mental health walk that always has one blind that's kind of crooked. Can you please fix it? This mental health walk is not working because of you. I don't sleep at night. Please just let me in. I'll fix it. Like, it's so easy. It's just Mm. like one little movement, please. Can you leave a note, maybe? Maybe. Shout out to responding, yes, he did. Every time someone says, did he? (laughs) Oh, no! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Okay. Um, shout out to Ashley Madison, specifically the leaks, so that everybody can know for a fact whether or not their partner was cheating on them. Shout out to everywhere being short staffed. Oh, except for parking attendants, apparently. There seems to be too many of those. Come on, man. I was parked there illegally for like four minutes. Go sit in your car and watch TikToks and pretend to work like the rest of us, tryhards. And finally, shout out to the Blue Bombers who play the Elks tonight. They're currently on a longer streak than the one in that random pair of undies some kid left under the slide at the park. (laughs) That's Unsung Heroes. We might be getting flying grocery carts before flying cars. Isn't flying cars a thing already? Are they? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think so. I've heard about them so much I actually think that they exist some places. Maybe is all. They might have tested them out, and then yeah. we didn't hear about how many times they crashed, so they just kind of buried that news. Sorry, flying shopping cart seems like a strange move. Like, that's a heavy thing to fly. Yeah, there's a university in uh, South Korea where they have, like, a robotics team, and they've made this prototype where it's like a drone in a pallet. So you, like, no control way. this thing. But I don't know. I feel like that's too much responsibility for people, like... Let's say me, who's super clumsy and really uh-huh. bad. I'm really bad at Mario Kart. I'll tell you that much. So <laughs> I, they'd have to overstaff their uh, the people with mops at the grocery store. They'd be like, clean up in every aisle. So, oh, wait, are these picking up groceries and then delivering them to people's homes? Oh, I don't know why I just pictured you standing in the store with a remote control. Driving it and then taking it to your car? I don't think that's the plan. Also, that sounds dangerous because, like, they can't even get all four tires on a shopping cart working. You know? <laughs> like, how can you trust a <laughs> drone there? We hope you had your coffee and are feeling extra sharp because it's time to play Matchmaker on Play 107. Strike up a match by picking two numbers with the same prize and you win. Miss the match and you're out. Good luck. Hello? Who are we speaking with? It's Deanne. Deanne. Hi, Hi Deanne. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, my good. goodness. Would you like to play matchmaker with us? Absolutely. Yes, please. Okay. Tell us the first number for the prize you want to reveal. Uh, let's go with 12. 12 is Popcorn Party from Sweet Convenience. Ooh. So a movie night prize pack. Popcorn Party. Okay. And the next one, let's go with uh, 40. 40, fairway bite, food at Cattail Crossing, a gift card for out there. So no, sorry, those don't match. But keep track of them for next time we call you. Thank you so much. Thank happy you. Friday. Yes, happy Friday. Have a great day. You too, thanks. Oh, wait, Bye-bye. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I forgot to play the buzzer for you. Oh, but the, well, she doesn't need to hear it now. It's yeah. sad. No, I know, but she. Ne- I we need to do it. All Ready? Right. Ready. How did that make you feel? (laughs) It's Friday. I'm happy. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Unbothered clean. See you later. Bye. The Ryder and Lisa Podcast. Play 107.